सो फे गाइस दिस इज यू बाय गोपाल एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम फर्स्ट ईयर बी एस एम एस स्टूडेंट एट आई सर तिरुवनंतपुरम एंड टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट आई सर्स सो वॉट आर आई सर्स आई सर्स आर नेशनल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट विच आर डेडिकेटेड फॉर कंबाइनिंग द अंडर ग्रेजुएट लेवल एकेडमिक्स विथ लेटेस्ट गोइंग ऑन रिसर्च so just like uh, and these institutes are dedicated for the research in fundamental sciences like physics chemistry math bio uh, just like for engineering sciences we have iits for medical sciences we have aims so just like that uh, for basic science research we have icers here is a question is icer a good place for you or should you join the icer so if you are looking for promising placements and package then not and if you are really interested in research and dedicated towards the scientific career uh, you are actually passionate about some research or uh, you want to do some scientific work then only you should join the icer uh, i am not saying that uh, icerites or the people from icer don't have any future like iits or aims but you have to be dedicated in this field so if you are really interested in research and scientific career then icer is the best place for you so icers have all good looking beautiful campuses like uh, iits or nits and these are some pictures and they also have state of the art research facilities at labs and these all facilities are given to undergraduate students also which is uh, uncommon in many other institutes so let's talk about the course structure at icer so after getting admission into icer after 12th uh, you have a five year course of bs ms uh, bachelor in science and master of uh, bachelor of science and master of science so uh, this is a five year course in first two years you are taught uh, fundamental fundamentals of physics chemistry math bio and uh, in next two years you have to specialize in your interested subject and the last year is dedicated complete and the complete last year is dedicated for a year long project that you have to submit to uh, get the degree this is about icer so if you are interested in getting into icer you have three ways to join the icer first is uh, kvpy channel second is je advanced channel and third is uh, icer aptitude test that is uh, conducted by own icer bodies admission body let's talk about each channel separately first kvpy so if you are a kvpy scholar then you just have to fill the application form and they will choose you according to your rank and all the marks etc in that kvpy exam in je advance you to apply uh, in je advance channel to apply for the application form the eligibility criteria is your rank should be below 10000 in je advance exam and they will select the admissions according to your mark mm. about icer aptitude test let's get some detail so i was a iit candidate so i can give the better information about it uh, i passed uh, personally i passed uh, icer aptitude test in 2020 and got into uh, icer tiruvananthapuram for the first year so this icer aptitude test is conducted uh, by different icer every year so last year it was icer tiruvananthapuram this year it's icer kolkata they and recently they have updated their websites about uh, eligibility criteria and uh, eligibility criteria and they have not specified any dates about exam and all that about eligibility criteria for icer aptitude test uh, you have to be above top 20% in your respective boards uh, some years before it was top 1% but uh, from 2019 uh, they have changed their criteria and now it's top above top 20% it, it's usually above 75% of uh, boards but you have to check according to your state board or cbsc and uh, icsc uh, you can check on that respective website of your board uh, so if you want a detailed description about the exam like uh, what type of questions and questions are asked the syllabus and uh, all uh, what type of questions are asked and syllabus and analysis of previous year question papers let me know in the comment section below and so in that video we can discuss the approximate level of question paper that might be asked in the 
exam and the previous year question papers analysis and all that thing i will dedicate a separate video for that so i will put the official link in the description box below you can get the information about uh, upcoming things in that below and also i will also inform you through the videos so this was just a short video to explain you what are ICERs and uh, how to get into ICER and uh, I honestly tell you ICERs are the place to become an actual real scientist. With that said, see you in the next video, bye bye. Put your comments down below to suggest me some improvements and also the topics for upcoming videos. Those who are watching from ICER also. So bye bye.